Words are the scaffolding of action. They have a power within them. They end up determining how we lead our lives. And that's why it's quite important that the green fanatics have had a go at the Brecon Beacons. It's about control. Nobody in their right mind, until yesterday, thought that the beacon in Brecon Beacons was anything to do with climate change. It wouldn't have crossed anybody's mind. They didn't think about a beacon with coal on it spewing out dirty fumes. They thought the Brecon Beacons were a beautiful place that they could go uh, and visit. But control of language is the precursor of state control of thought. If you control what people say, the way they formulate their ideas, then you begin to control what they think and you begin to control what they do. And this is why it's so important and it colours the political debate. And over the last 20 or 30 years, our political debate has effectively been controlled by the left who have become the arbiters of language, what you can and you can't say. Now, I hope with Brecon Beacon that they have overreached themselves and made people realise how ridiculous this is and that we will push back. Those of us who believe that language should be used properly will push back and use it to its full extent so that we don't get any more NHS inclusivity guides which don't allow you to assume that somebody is a man or a woman, you've got to find out first or expect a man to say uh, that he's not pregnant when it's perfectly obvious that a man is not going to be pregnant or that you call alcohol um, misusers rather than alcoholics and you don't define drug addicts or you don't tell people who are fat that they're fat. If you don't tell people the truth, how are they able to learn, how are they able to know what the basic uh, need is for them? And this has been going through the civil service as well. There are 441 woke training courses in the civil service, some of which I tried to get rid of when I was uh, in the cabinet office, such as check yo privilege, give me strength, which we all need, leading without authority. Um, as Minister for Government Efficiency, I did try to get rid of 250 of these, but there were still over 100 left. So what we've got to do is push back to get control of our own language and not use the newspeak terms. So what do I mean by this? Well, say things as they are. Call spades spades. If you're a Yorkshireman, call a spade a shovel. Be clear. And don't give in to the politically correct brigade or indeed to those with a political agenda. Why on earth do people not still refer to Burma? Why are we told what to do? by a totalitarian regime that got rid of a democratically elected regime. Why do we go along with that? We shouldn't. We should call Burma, Burma. We should use proper English words such as chairman and spokesman. We shouldn't refer to somebody who is um, chairing a meeting as the chair. A chair is a piece of furniture, not an individual. Because language matters. Once you lose the language, you lose the thought, you lose the action, you are controlled. And the left have been brilliantly clever about this and about getting control of the way we think to get their message across, because once you decide what people are allowed to say, soon or later, you decide what they're going to do.